Hey guys, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We're at Summer NAM 2014, talking to Kevin Henretta from Henretta Engineering. Did I say that right? Yeah, you said that right. All right, cool. It's kind of loud. These guys are wailing on yes. lap steels yeah, behind are. us, but uh, we'll make do. So you have a whole new line of, what, eight tiny little pedals? I have eight tiny little pedals with no knobs on them. And so you open them up and you use trim pots and switches to set them the way you want and you put the bottom back on, put them on your board, and you go. And you don't have to worry about the settings again, and you get to focus on your playing instead of being distracted by the, the knobs on your pedals. And of course, it saves you tons of space on your pedal board. Why don't, you, why don't you talk a little bit about the inspiration for this? Because guys who can remember or have read about stuff way back to 70s or 60s right. will kind of get the inspiration for all this. Yeah, so I, it started with the compressor pedal, which is called the Orange Whip. And that's based on the, the legendary Orange Squeezer circuit that Dan Armstrong came out with in the 70s. And uh, I just wanted a compressor pedal for my own pedal board, and I didn't have a lot of space. So I ended up designing that pedal and putting it, uh, putting it in that box and just went with that and ended up developing this whole line out of the, the, the next three years or so. Um, of these pedals with no knobs and you know it starts with friends wanting them and then posting online and so forth yeah. and, and before I knew it I realized that there was indeed a demand for pedals that don't have knobs on the outside. Now why don't you, oh, I've got a few questions but before yeah. I go to those why don't you tell all the different pedals in the line. Sure, so the Mr. White is just a straight clean booster it does have an EQ inside that you can turn on and off and then you can do some treble bass uh, trimming if you want to. Okay, so there's two trim pots. Yeah, uh, and a volume trim pot, so there's three in that one. Okay. Uh, the pink one is the pink man, and that's, I call it a dirty boost. It's got a lot of boosting headroom, but it's really an overdrive pedal. It's got a distortion control and a volume control. The purple one is uh, the purple octopus, and that's, that's an octave up, similar to an octave fuzz, uh, without the fuzz circuitry in it. It's still a little dirty, um, it goes really well paired with the fuzz pedal to turn it into an octave fuzz. Also pretty cool on its own. The blue one is a fuzz pedal, pretty straightforward. It's got a volume control on the inside. The green one is the, em the dark green, the Emerald Prince, and that is the Echoplex, the legendary Echoplex preamp circuitry uh, that many players use because of its tone enhancing uh, properties. It's, it's that circuit in so a box. Does it pretty much just have a gain knob it's, for that it's one? It's just, yeah, it do, and it does have a switch because there are two different eras of the EP3 circuit, one that's a little bit brighter than the other. So there is a bright dark switch in there that toggles between two different versions of the circuit um, and a volume control. The orange one is the orange whip compressor, and that's got a volume, and there is a little, uh, a little control for adjusting the amount of compression in there too, although there's a sweet spot on those pedals, and people tend to keep it there. The Crimson Tremolo is just your basic tremolo circuit, amp-like tremolo. So is it an optical circuit? Uh, no, it's not. It's a bias. It's a bias, okay. uh, bias controlled circuit. And it, it has a uh, depth and a speed control. And the last one over there is the, um, the Green Zapper, which is an envelope filter. And there's a sensitivity and a range control inside of that one. Okay, now when we came into the video, what were we hearing? That was the Bluebird and the Purple Octopus together for an octave fuzz sound. Okay, why don't you give us a few other uh, combinations? I'll, uh, the tremolo circuit, very simple. And I particularly like this one with the envelope filter. Fun sound. Uh, the Pink Been Dirty Boost is really popular with blues players. And this is the uh, Orange Whip Compressor. Spongy sound, huh? Yeah. The Mr. White, the boost is just, you know, it's a boost. Yeah. 
and the em- which boost is that? I can't see that. Mr. White boost. Mr. White. Mr. White. Uh, the Emerald Prince is a little bit more subtle in its boosting, but a little bit of a mid emphasis that people like. So let's see. That's with it off. Livens up the sound a little bit. A little sparkly. Yeah. Okay, so besides having these tiny pedals that obviously, like, you can have a much smaller pedal board, you actually make uh, units where you can combine them? Is it just the two? Like over here on the shelf, you've got... Yeah, so I, I I do the two-in-one, which, which a lot of people like because there are some nice combinations that work well. And then you see behind that are six-in-one. And I do an eight-in-one. I don't have one with me here. And that's, you know, fully customized. And so some people will put two, two different boosters in one. Uh, some people will put two different uh, tremolos in one to get two different speeds. But those are, you know, the circuits fit inside of typically a looper box, which is what those are usually, those are usually tr- true bypass looper boxes. And I'm using the same format, but putting six circuits in there. And, and you can fit knobs on those if you want. And one of them over there does have a couple knobs on it. So th- those totally customizable. And, and the big advantage is that you've just got one power jack and now you've got all six circuits being powered with one jack. Cool. Yeah. Now talk about pricing a little bit. Okay. From the small ones to the right. multis. Yeah, the small ones go for 125. That's the street price on on all eight of the small pedals. Uh, the two in one pedals go for 160. Um, there's an option where you can put a switch on it that reverses the order, and that's an extra 15 bucks. That's a 175 pedal. And the six in one goes for 500 dollars. And if you want eight in one, that's a 600 dollar pedal. You save quite a bit of money if you combine them, huh? Yeah, if you know you want all of those and you and you want that compact grab and go type of pedal situation, the six and ones a, is a good value. It's a good choice. All right, cool. Well, where should people go to find out more about these online? Well, I'm selling through a handful of, of uh, online retailers and shops, and they all carry them on Amazon and on eBay and on Reverb.com. Or you can go directly to RogueGuitarShop.com, Primax Vintage, Chicago Music Exchange, Music Gear Fast. Go to the website, HenrettaEngineering.com, and all the dealers are listed there. Okay, sweet. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, thank you. Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. Thanks for watching.